Hello and welcome to one of my uh, Rust base design tutorials. Uh, today I got a new concept uh, taking into consideration the new ladders that I wanted to show. Um, I don't know if this is a completely new idea or not. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, you know, nobody's the first to do anything, but let's see. So the first basic concept of this base is shown here. Um, where there are overhangs placed uh, at half block heights. And this is done by placing a wall then uh, half block in an adjacent uh, tile. Place your floors and you can remove your foundations. The next basic concept that I will incorporate into this space is a variation of the elevator now with the stairs that you would leave twig as you go down uh, and I am using the uh, 180 stairway and a floor placed beneath them in a zigzag pattern obviously as that's all you can do but this will also provide additional protection against ladders because you will be able to place uh, you won't be able to build the ladder up so the first thing you're going to need to do when you design this base is find a nice uh, open flat area obviously um, Everybody's always kind of looking for one of those, uh, and I found one here near these monuments. Uh, beaches are a good place, but, you know, explore your map, find some flat area. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is build up our stairway. Now I'm going to be building this in twig. Obviously you would want to upgrade everything as you build it to... Uh, your material of choice. Uh, so first I've placed here uh, two foundations with uh, three high pillars and we're gonna build our stairway on here. So the easiest way to get those floors there is to use walls and uh, now that I've got my stairs built up I'm gonna remove the walls. Now that we got our stairs built I'm going to build our ladder protection. Alright, so I've gone ahead and built our uh, area that's going to house our overhang uh, system that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And what I've made here is uh, two uh, foundation difference between the outside and the stairs because there's going to be overhangs in this area. Now it should also be noted that some of these pillars are going to end up being removed, uh, specifically uh, any pillars that would be uh, on the edge of where we want overhangs. So the pillars with the stairs here uh, are going to end up being removed as well as the uh, outside pillars here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw up the walls here. And these are going to go right here with one wall difference between uh, the steps. And we're going to build this up three high. Okay, so now I got all my uh, walls built up three high. I'm going to now uh, place a half block that I'm going to build up on uh, like an elevator and I'm going to put uh, floors all around at half block height. So I'll demonstrate that here really quick. And I'm going to follow this around like that and then uh, I did that on accident but I'll then start the next floor here. So I'm going to finish this up and see you on the other side. 
Alright, so now I've made it all the way up to the top. I'm gonna take out the elevator that I built and I'm gonna replace uh, floors as I go down. Alright, so now that I've filled this entire stairwell with these half blocks, I can also remove the pillars to uh, prevent uh, ladders from being built up on them. Alright, now I'm at the uh, top of my base and I have removed all the pillars. Uh, just one tip, if you do plan to build much higher than this, you might want to leave the pillars until you've uh, finished construction of the area up here because uh, the stability uh, thinks a little differently depending on how you build it. So uh, if you want to build up really tall from the center, I'd recommend leaving the pillars before you remove them. So uh, then, now that we're all the way up here, at the end of the day or when you log off, uh, you'd go down, you'd take out your stairs uh, as uh, you come up or, or go back down, so say like when you leave or whatever, um, you'd want to take out all this stuff. You also might be asking, uh, like, why I didn't uh, put a floor right here. Well, you can't uh, get up the stairs if you have a floor right there. Uh, so, that's why. And uh, you may have another question about why uh, three high. <clears throat> and the reason for that is that C4 can be tossed up three blocks. So if somebody was standing here, they could throw it up onto that wall there, but they could not throw it up onto the floor that makes up that wall's roof. So now we're on the uh, outside, and we are going to want to put the exact same overhangs that we just did uh, in there. And that's a little easier out here because it uh, detects the wall floors on the other side of the wall, so we can uh, just go ahead and walk around like this, and then when, once we reach the other point, we can put up the next layer and jump on top of it. Now as we're coming around and building, um, you're not going to want to forget to place your doorway, and uh, um, before you cover it up with the wall, or else you're going to have to... Uh, remove it and place it again, which I guess isn't such a big deal, but uh, you also can't place the uh, door while there's a block there, so I'm going to have to uh, remove that and place the door back and the floor back. And now I can uh, also place the floor down here in front of the door so I'm gonna have this here and I'll still be able to get in there and open that door okay so at this point you have a couple options um, we're gonna need to take out these pillars so that ladders can't be placed on them but you could also build a base up on top of there uh, and I would recommend doing that uh, before you take down these pillars because you'll be able to place uh, pillars and walls up there that you might not be able to place without these pillars down here. Um, the other option would be to continue with the 3x4 base with the overhangs uh, all the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and take out these pillars. Alright, so I've gone ahead and gotten rid of all those pillars. Now, obviously, um, you wouldn't have needed those pillars there uh, unless you planned on uh, building up top uh, to, the, to the wider area. Um, but uh, I need to also take the foundations out of here just to provide a little bit more extra protection so you can't uh, place ladders here, get a little higher, and throw some C4 uh, up there. I'm going to take the foundations out, and I'm going to put floors in their place. Now, when I get to my door, I'm going to leave my uh, foundation here just so that I can place some uh, foundation steps. And uh, Now I can take out the foundation. And I can place uh, 
floors all the way around this bottom layer. So now that I got uh, them last floors up, the basic concept is complete. Uh, you would want to, you know, place some extra protection out here, uh, wh whatever you would normally do with your base, you know, spike walls, um, uh, auxiliary uh, cabinets, uh, you know, just to add a little bit extra protection. Maybe not a bad idea to make your auxiliary cabinets uh, with some uh, overhangs like this. Um, so then here we'd have our inside of our base and each time you'd come home you'd want to place a stairway here, uh, alternating back and forth. Now that we've uh, made it up here to the top of the base, I can show you the reason that you would have wanted to leave those bottom pillars is because over here in this area, I can't uh, build up any higher. I can't um, place a pillar and the uh, walls start to crumble. So, um, but over uh, along here, um, these still work. This is kind of random, I guess. I don't know exactly what decides if we can do this or not, but uh, we can still um, build our walls all the way up. So, um, now, and then as I was saying before, the alternative choice uh, is that you could uh, go again with your base this wide and uh, do the uh, half half uh, floors again uh, all the way up these outside walls and uh, then obviously you wouldn't have those pillars there so um, you probably wouldn't have them on the inside obviously so it's not necessary so you could have uh, a little bit more floor space um, I finish that out real quick just so you can kind of see the area that you'd be left with if you did decide to continue like that. Obviously uh, this space is uh, pretty substantial if you did actually make this area uh, completely into your base so uh, which would uh, be something that maybe I would do with my uh, group uh, but if I was playing alone perhaps I'd keep it smaller but um, it's all about the materials you want to invest. So let me uh, finish out this room just so we can get an idea of the space if we wanted to continue up like this. Alright, so I finished off this uh, area up here and uh, just to give us the idea of how big it's going to be. Now like I said, uh, you're going to want to really flesh out this top area before you remove any of those lower pillars because uh, just to show you, I can't place uh, anything right in these uh, floor spaces. So you're definitely going to want to have that uh, taken care of before um, before you take those pillars down. It's really important. Now I can still uh, do floors all the way up and I could still uh, split the floor at the half block height and do the um, trick with placing furnaces or, or uh, chests down here uh, and, and up top. And now let's uh, go outside and have a look at this from the ground. Okay, so here's a little bit more uh, fleshed out idea of the concept. Uh, you would continued the floors up to the top of it, obviously. But this is the basic idea. Um, I think everybody has a basic concept of what else to do around their base. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. There's obviously things you could do to make this a little bit prettier if you care about that sort of stuff. This is really just a uh, big box. Maybe you want windows. I don't know. Well, I hope you like this video. I um, hope to see it uh, out in the wild or uh, possibly uh, another solution for ladders but to me right now this really seems like one of the best um, defenses against them and uh, maybe even uh, some extra defense against C4. So thanks for watching guys. Peace.